never introduce myself I'm gonna get you off like there's no one else Please let me be your flesh and blood Your dirty secret, your rock of love Rock of love So I wake up this morning in Orlando and it's like, is this really real? There's three of us left. I'm here with only two other girls. It's getting really serious. Like, I can tell. I can tell I'm, like, getting ready to start really falling for him. We're going to Miami! Oh my God. <laughs> Mindy, Taya, and Jamie, hit the road once again for your final ride in the pink bus. Oh, get ready for some Miami heat, where big decisions will have to be made. Love, Brett. Oh my God, our final ride. Going into this with Taya and Jamie is going to be a serious competition. I look at Brett and think, I really see myself as his girlfriend and it's gonna get harder and harder for me. in Miami and take our luggage off the bus for the last time. I hated that damn pink bus anyways. It always never smelled right. The Sagamore Hotel, it's, it's so swanky, it's cool. This is amazing. All right, ladies, well, enjoy. We'll see each other later. I have not seen my girls since Orlando, and I am jonesing to see them. I've got a party planned, and I have left something hot and amazing for my girls in their room. Oh my god. We go up to our room, and we have these awesome little Mardi Gras costumes laying out on our beds. We definitely have something really neat in store for us. It's like Mardi Gras stuff, though. I know, right? this is so awesome. If there's one thing I love, it is Carnival, and I have left them some Carnival outfits, and they look Carnival-ish. Incredible. Let's put on our beads. I'm excited to put this costume on. It's fun. It's beady. It's cheesy. It's gaudy. I love it. Dude, this is I'm gonna wear that. I do not want to put on this costume. My outfit is hideous and doesn't look like me or anything I would ever put on in a million years. Mindy, are you freaking out? This is not a big deal right now. It's the three of us. Why is she freaking out? Like she's the most fit one of all of us. It. I don't get her. I'm not taking my clothes off. This is something Brett wants. Are you not willing to make it work now? I just don't think that kind of attitude is is what he needs. Like it will not stay on my body. Taya, do you know how this works? I can't figure out my costume. First of all, you have this on upside down. Well, you have, <laughs> you have a whole yeah, like home. piece. I don't uh, have a whole oh, piece. Sh I just have a circle. Taya knows where everything buckles, where everything snaps. Hmm, it's odd because it kind of looks like a stripper outfit. Nothing irritates me more than being asked to do something that is so far away from who I am that it just ends up making you feel completely ridiculous. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like everything is fine and dandy when it isn't. I can't even move. I got a piece of that. I don't know how to sing. I cannot sing. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just gonna start not trying because then I'll win. I'm still single. We I've are. never even been engaged. In a game of love, I always lose. It doesn't matter how hard you try, you will lose. I've got to go back. If it was, I would never wear this. Mindy just has like a weird bad attitude. It's like, just have fun, let loose, just go with it. Like, enjoy the moment. Don't freak out. Woo! We Hello, hotnesses. How are you doing? <laughs> Come on, oh, you're down. down. So, I love it, but uh, they're gonna take us away like a kite. <laughs> I know that this road trip has definitely been intense, and I know it's gonna get even harder. So for tonight, I just wanna chill out, play some music. So did you guys bring your lyrics along? Minnie, I'm gonna make you sing first. With no help, you're gonna do it and get it right this time. Oh, I have faith in you, that's why you're here. It's not the singing, it's the emotion. It's hard to have emotion oh, when you're wearing yes. a crazy costume. Okay. I don't. What's that? My outfit is peach. 
I look ridiculous in it, and I'm just not gonna wear it. Let's go. Put on Let's your go. put on your little briefs. I'm looking at Taya, and she is having a time of her life in her outfit. Jamie, she's having a time of her life in her outfit. I look over at my girl Mindy, and she ain't having a time of her life in her outfit. She's having a fit. That girl's gotta learn how to roll with the punches on the road. Yeah, just put on some. Finish yeah, your I outfit. The bottoms won't stay even all you the time. It doesn't matter. Yet. Just put on your right. on. Don't fix your fine. If these fit me, you'll I'm gonna take you. your drink. Put an Amakini bottom on, for Christ's sakes. You're in Miami. What is going on with that girl? That's not a good thing right there, man. You gotta be able to roll and have fun, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just feel like I'm trying to prove to someone that I look good naked, which I don't need to do. She just freaks out a lot. Which is not good. I can't read her sometimes, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, she's just gone mad. Put a damn bikini bottom on, for Christ's sakes. You're in Miami. We're partying here, hanging out at the Sagamore Hotel in Miami. I'm trying to have the time of my life. And then there's Captain Buzzkill. What is going on with that girl? That's not a good thing right there, man. You gotta be able to roll and have fun, you know what I'm saying? Brett is picking up on this funky Mindy side that she has, and he doesn't seem really super thrilled about it. Mindy was Look, old. she came, the sailor is back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So all the girls are having a great time in their carnival outfits, and out comes Mindy wearing a sailor's outfit. The sailor is back. I didn't know it was a free-for-all in costume. <laughs> what is going on there, Captain Steubing? This is not the love boat. All right, girls, you ready? I'm going to throw a killer question. I've been wanting to ask this all day. Okay. I'm going to start with you, Jamie, all right? If you knew you were going home, if Mindy and Taya remained, who would you want to be here with me? Oh, fuck. This is a really hard question. I don't want to cop out, but I feel like I am going to barf. I think I'm better for you than either one of them. Understood. I do think that Brett made a good decision with the final three as far as he knows. Like, he doesn't know that they're both batshit crazy. I think Mindy, Mindy has nothing to promote. Mindy has nothing to gain. OK. And once again, I feel like I'm being attacked for trying to promote Penthouse. I'm sick of hearing about it. It's stupid. All right, so Taya, take a breath. And what do you think? I think that you'd make it longer with Mindy just because she's in a position where she could pack her bags and jump on a jet or jump on a tour bus. Fair enough. Taya, of course, does say me because of our friendship, but it's still another backhanded compliment. Like, Mindy, you have absolutely nothing to live for but Brett. Mindy, right or wrong, you can't cop Maybe out. Oh. Speak from your soul. I'm sorry, Taya, but... You cannot admit at any point Mindy. that you are wrong about anything. I'm going to say Jamie, because Jamie understands that mistakes happen. There are faults in people, and she's fun. I'm starting to feel like this friendship is a little one-sided. This is what I really needed. I just needed to hear you all talk, because we're getting down to what really matters here at the end. You know what I mean? Tay and Mindy have definitely been allies since the beginning, but the rogue can do some mysterious things to people. I am not surprised I'm seeing some serious cracks in their friendship. All right, girls, I'm going to jump up, and I will see you early tomorrow morning. I went back inside, and then I realized I don't have my sailor hat. I left my hat. Did you leave your hat, girl? I wanted to talk to you first before any of this went down. Right. I'm glad Mindy came back out to pick up her sailor cap, because tonight it wasn't the Mindy that I knew, the girl that I loved hanging with. I like Taya as a person. I just don't think she's the right girl for you. Oh, good God. Do we always got to talk about Taya? But there's something there that doesn't make sense. I mean, I am the one person on this entire tour that has been her friend, and I even question it. I believe now it is time to implement Operation Change the subject. You look really hot tonight. Oh, this thank you. <laughs> much better. It's just not me. You know, I really I believe in not putting something on because it's not me. Shut up. You had me at Sailor Cap. It's totally hot when somebody just seizes the moment and takes matters into their own hands. Look at her. Are you kidding? Look at me. Are you fucking serious? Hey, Taya. This is what Brett looks like making out with his girlfriend. I know, honey, but don't look. Don't look. Look at her right now. Are you serious? Like, all of a sudden, she has some confidence in the fucking... Baby, don't look. 
So Mindy's mad that Taya's mad at her, and Taya's mad that Mindy's mad at her, and these two can just go crazy in front of Brett, hopefully. <laughs> she broke my heart. She knows I like him. I'm really starting to get weirded out by the whole situation. I love her dearly, but that's my guy. Look at her. Are you kidding me? Yes. Oh, no. Stop it. You just said she was better suited. Are you looking at what I'm stop seeing? Stop it. Because you know what? She's the more harmful one. If I'm up against her, it'd be done. If I'm up against you, I don't know what's going to happen. Jamie decides to drop the bombshell on me that she said, Mindy, because if it came down to me and Mindy at the end, I know that I could beat Mindy. So basically, Jamie's here playing a game. And it just shows that I am the one that belongs with him. I can feel it from my fingernails to my toenails. I'm up, you're up. Let's go. Okay, uh, I was peeing. I was peeing. I'm sorry. Okay. So with that, I'm going to give you. Yay. Thank you. Thanks, fun. Jamie and Taya, your limo awaits. Get ready for your date. I will see you there. Love, Brett. I decide I'm going to take Jamie and Taya with me. Mindy is going to be back at the hotel, and I'm hoping this does not cause an avalanche of mood swings. She got happy feet. <laughs> we are going to do Miami the only way you can do Miami. We are going to take a helicopter ride. Every time I think I've been on the best date ever, he trumps his dates and trumps himself. I'm in a helicopter with Brett. My heart is pounding. I don't know if it's from being in the helicopter. I don't know if it's being with Brett. Oh, this is intense. So you're right over Miami Beach right now. Man, what a beautiful day, too. I know. Like, they made the perfect day for us. Yeah. Girls, I have one more little surprise. That's the I can make love to both of you for hours or 10 minutes, whichever comes first. Hopefully, Jamie being on this date's going to end up being a good thing. Jamie's here playing a game, and he needs to know that. I wanted to mention mm -hmm. that, I mean, yeah, yeah. you looked at me and you said, Taya, I'm eliminating you. Mindy and Jamie are left. Who would you choose? And I'm sorry if this is offensive to Jamie, but I feel like I'm the only no, one that, that, cool. that, that answered that in the way that you asked us. I know Jamie didn't do that, and I know Mindy didn't do I that. I didn't know I didn't do that. Because you told me that she didn't inside after he left. I want to take Taya down so badly. Oh, she just sucks. She's so not right for him. You told me that you knew in the end you could beat Mindy. And so I that really kind of tells me that, that you look at it like a game and you're not really looking at it as something serious. God. Oh, no, she did not just say that. I need to do some damage control. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest right okay. now. OK. When I'm being honest, saying you're far worse for Brett than Mindy would be. OK. But that's not what you told me after the fact. You're such a liar. You're obviously just angry and mad, and you're taking it out on me. I think in a relationship, a big part of it is taking yourself out of it and putting the other person first. And that's what you asked me to do, and that wasn't hard for me to do for you, because right. I do care. And truthfully, you're, you're saying the right thing because there, because right. you, what I'm looking for is someone I can really, there's a chance. Yeah. There's a chance that it can go a lot further than where I've gotten recently in my life. Taya isn't sincere. She's fake. Taya is just trying to tell him what she thinks Brett wants to hear. It's such a big decision I'm making about who goes with me and goes where and see what could possibly come out of it. And it's such a, a big decision, and that's why I needed everyone to just say their their piece. And last night, I thought I would get a lot. You were like yeah. trying to just be, this is very nice. I mean, I try to always find a positive in everything. I will never know who the real you is, though, if you don't occasionally say to me, thank you for doing this. But I can be honest with you, I don't want to play volleyball in a bed of nails again. You know what? I really like Tay a lot. I like the fact that she's kind of a people pleaser. And she says yes to a lot of things. But sometimes I got to wonder, is it real or is it fake? But I ro I'll roll with it. I'll do, you know. Right. I mean, I have to do stuff all the time that I, you know, especially with my son, I don't know anything about. No, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I really think Brett's really concerned if she really, truly is sincere. And I think that's great. It's just, it's nice to hear the truth. And sometimes the truth can also be what's not being said. I'm saying what I feel. And if he can't believe me, I don't know. I might be going home. Uh, maybe what I need is someone who rolls. Or maybe what I need is someone who's extremely serious. Yeah. I, I don't, I, that's what my balance is. Who could roll with it? Hey, ladies. Hey, sugar. Listen, 
some bread. And uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit, all right? Thanks, Big John. Mindy and Jamie, time to go out on a double date. Where we're going, the wind will flow through your hair, and danger could be your friend. See you on the bus in one hour. Love, Brett. This is great. I went on a date yesterday, and I get to go again today. I think he's feeling me, and it feels really good. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Sit and plot? <laughs> I don't plot. I don't need to. Jamie's getting another date, and I'm bummed about it. There's just lots of weirdness going on right now. These girls are, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to channel Farrah and Ashley. Lame. Good morning, good morning. Hi. I've decided I gotta take Jamie with me for sure because I need to get to know this girl better. And she's like an insurance policy. Mindy gets in a funk, I've got Jamie. Now to today, the plan is awesome. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's gonna be killer. I decide today I'm gonna plan one of the most romantic dates in the history of mankind. Paris, you ask? Not a chance. Swamp Boat Gator Date. And you wonder why I'm single. I get to make out with Brett in a gator boat? Like, who else can say that? Her. I wasn't in the best of moods last night, so I'm really just focused on having a stress-free date so that Brett can see the good sides of us instead of focusing on all the bad. I can now say I've officially kissed two hot girls on a gator boat. <laughs> Check <Yeah. laughs> I'll start with the champagne and you guys just divvy out a little food. Yeah, today was just awesome, man. Just being out here is just good for the soul, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cheers. So what do you like to do? What, what things, if you were going out, you're going on a date, where would you like to go? You're thinking, man, if this like guy picks me. In the regular world? In the right. Like, this is seriously like in the real world. probably the coolest this is the thing ever right here. Really? This is Give me it's ridiculous. You know when you're with somebody and it just feels right? Well, that's the way it feels like when I'm with Mindy and she's in a great mood. That's what I want to hear. And yourself? I better be on a private jet. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. I'm totally feeling Brett right now, but I am really curious if he is really looking for something serious. Like, it is hard for me to tell sometimes. Like, are you looking to like jump right into a really serious like thing, or is it gonna be like keep dating, keep you know slowly? What are you looking for? I'm looking like to date. I'm not like gonna be like, let's get married now. You know, like those things take time. It takes time to like get to that place. So like, you know, we still need to get to know each other, I think a little better. You know with Jamie, she's not afraid to say what she wants and what she doesn't want. And I love that about her. You know, I was gonna ask you though, you all been talking a lot about, you know, the Taya situation. <laughs> that it's too good to be true. So let's discuss, tell me the truth. There's just a lot of very calculated movements that I've been watching from the very beginning. For right. instance, the pre-made t-shirts. They are cute, and I know what the point was with them, but that to me is a sign of someone who thought beforehand, how can I go in this to win? OK, what do you think? What do you think? I think she's crazy. It's like this. <laughs> I, think I think she's mental. I it's think nothing really super she hasn't bad. told like, the truth this whole time. Person. She's definitely not 29. She's totally like still this. a stripper. And I agree with you a 1,000 percent. She's a little too good to be true sometimes. Nobody's that perfect. And if you think you're that perfect, then there's your flaw. Perfection is your flaw. I understand that both Mindy and Jamie are Taya's competition, but you know what? They're starting to make a lot of sense. Oh my God. Mindy, it's our favorite kind of weather. We have to take her down. I mean, we have to turn into raging bitches. I don't care, we have to. I'm not gonna let her take Brett from us. Oh my God. You guys have got to come see this. It's like somebody painted us a picture. He just cannot want a girl that fake. I don't think she even knows how to have fun. Mindy, look. And look at this view of the water. Honestly, it's gonna freak her out if you just like don't talk to her as much and start hanging out with me. Like seriously, because you're her like she knows anchor. I'm mad about Taya and Mindy are friends, so of course they're gonna be like looking out for each other. And since I don't have any friends here, this is going to be really hard for me, and I really have to step it up. I really need to drink more and get like aggressive, like boots. <laughs> are you gonna try to channel her? <laughs> 
Look at that. Look straight out. That was Brett was here. <laughs> did you like Brett like before you came here? Like, did both of you like like Brett Michaels? I knew in a situation coming in where there was going to be like twenty plus girls, it forces you to get to know like where your heart is and what I think kind he knows of person all three you are. Of us hey, he thinks my heart is with you. He thinks it's whatever. more with you than it is with him. I fear your friendship with Taya was getting in the way of what our relationship could be, okay? In some way or another, you have manipulated the situation to appear as though I am the weak one and you are the strong one in really? our friendship. You don't think maybe that was on you? You're not gonna take any responsibility no, not. for your interaction with no. Brett? I definitely feel like Mindy is losing her damn mind right now. I can't control what he thinks. I just think you've been in an atmosphere where it's your job to make people feel special your entire life and you've become very good at it. Wow. So you are a stripper. Your ex-boyfriend like kind of said it. I've okay. feature danced, but I don't consider that stripper. Like, I don't like, know what that means though. Like I'm sorry if I'm feeling really stupid right now, but like what's you that? You know, mean? I'm I'm not going into this again. I'm so you are a stripper. A, no, I'm not a stripper. Okay. I don't know who Taya thinks she's fooling, but we do not believe for a second that she's this prim and proper young lady from the Midwest. Like she poses for penthouse. Of course she's gonna do that stuff. Ah. Ladies, you guys ready to go? I really had an awesome date with two of my girls today, but tonight I'm ready to have an even awesomer date with all three. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, come on in. Come on in. Hello, how are you doing? Mm, nice. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, is this is. not hot? Wow, hey, wow. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna make a party out of this tonight. I am really, really excited about this date I've got planned for tonight. It is gonna be awesome. See when uh, everyone likes salmon, right? So talk, you guys, tell me something. Hello, hello, am I talking to myself here? Today was very, um, very interesting. Butter anyone to go with their bread? I mean, here we are. I have truly gone out of my way to make this an amazing dinner date, and there is nothing but silence going on around me. Real big question for everybody. Is the vinegar and oil already on the salad, or am I crazy? You know what? I try to keep my cool and my composure, but right now, none of these girls are saying anything about nothing. Say, so, hey, what'd you end up doing today? I did my nails. If I'd have been on a date with him today, I'd have had tons of stuff to talk about at dinner. How many good stuff? Mindy, describe the salad. I cannot be your source of entertainment forever, Jamie. How can I be in a great mood at dinner when I'm on a date with Brett along with two other girls? There is so much tension that we can't have a conversation, and now I'm in a funk. Hey, Mindy, you're really fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some stuff. You guys gotta mess it up. Come on, we're getting down to the end of this competition, I'm God damn it. I'm depressed that I didn't get to go on the date today, so I'm in a funk. I'm just like in a, you know, you know, I wish I was there sort of funk. Wait, Taya's in a funk now? I thought Mindy was the girl that got in the funks. This date is getting all funked up. We are so boring. <laughs> Is everyone almost done eating so we can adjourn up to the bar? Are we all done? Come on, let's go up to the bar. I need to move this party outside, get some drinks in them, get them talking and having a good time. Look, if I can't loosen these girls up, I am about to strangle somebody. Bring you to a really nice place, we sat at the table, and it was like eating with my in-laws. I'm not kidding you, if I go to another dinner like this, I'm gonna send all three of you out. I'm not kidding you. If I go through another dinner like this, I'm gonna send all three of you home. I really went out of my way to set up this beautiful dinner at the Chesterfield, and it has gone disastrously bad. I'm starting to wonder right now if I made the right decision bringing any of the three of them here. Maybe brutally honest. Ooh, right. get the brutal out of it. I don't do good with funks. 
I do good with anyone saying to me, here's, uh, I'm a little tired, we got in an argument. I would rather someone passionately say what's wrong than cold. I don't do good with cold. The bottom line is, there's one girl that I want to walk away attempting to try to have a relationship with. Funks don't work for me, so I'm going to start with you, Mindy, what's up? After today's date, and today, and I'm not saying this to be cheesy, I am just, this, I mean, this really has been like the best day. I'm just in awe. But I wouldn't know that. I, when you were sitting at the table, I felt like I could have cut the tension with a knife. Is she not on the same date that I'm on? I mean, if this is your idea of a great date, like, I'm scared for anyone that is going on a date with you. I cannot read your mind. And, and I surely don't want it to be phony. I don't want it to be fake. I don't want it to be what I want to hear. But I need you to tell me. I think me. the hardest part for me was just, no, you know. No, wait, don't, I'm not okay, cutting you off. Okay. Mindy, finish. I think this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm sorry I didn't well, voice it right yeah. away. I mean, I really don't feel like I'm in a funk tonight at all. Mindy's been in another one of her funks almost the entire date. And then as soon as Brett asked Mindy specifically, like, what's the deal, it changes like that. What about you? Tell me. Are you enjoying it? Awesome. What? I'm fine. This is great. OK. Mindy's fine. Jamie's fine. The most excruciating dinner I have ever had. And everyone else is having a time of their life. Great. I'm kind of uh, waiting for these two to start going at each other. When's it going to collide? Like, well, when's like, stuff going to gonna happen? For, I mean, obviously, that's a tension that's between Mindy and I that's affecting you, and that's not right. Mindy and Taya are sucking the life out of me, and I think they're ruining Brett's time, too. All right, Taya. Here's my question. Obviously, there's a physical attraction this point between all of us, or right. I don't think we would be here, so we don't need to go there. But I want to know, does this also work into a business plan? It's the number one show on VH1. Right. It's, it ain't going to suck if you can use it to propel you forward. To be honest, my like bosses are not so happy that I'm here. I mean, I'm missing a lot of things being here, you know what I mean? And right. the pet of the year issue, I I'm supposed to be shooting that right now. They didn't want me to be here from the very beginning. So my right. point is, you know, I did reach right. out to try to meet you. This was something that I saw as an opportunity to do that. I'm missing a major deadline for the biggest shoot of my career, which is my pet of the year shoot. So clearly, I'm not here because of my job, because my job is telling me to come home. I think we covered a lot of really good stuff. Come on, girls, let's go back to the hotel. One more cheers to a great night. Right, here's the deal, girls. I'm not ready to completely hit it yet, okay. but I want to do this. Okay. I am going to take Jamie, hang out for a little bit. The girls, we'll see you in a little bit, mm -hmm. all right? Jamie came on the tour much later than the other two girls. And the truth of the matter is, I have not spent as much time with her as I have the other girls. I need to spend a night with Jamie. Wait, hold on. I got saggy bottoms. All right, now I'm better. That's a good shot. How are you standing here right now, like, so calm and not freaking out? I'm freaking out. Because I can't change anything. It is what it is. I, I know, am who I am. I know, but you had time with him today, so you have a little better well, feeling about I've already sealed it. my fate, and it's not a good one, and now I just want to enjoy my time. I enjoyed my date with Brett today, but after dinner tonight, I'm just not feeling that great about things. I mean, I feel like he just is choosing to focus on the one negative, and it's just going to keep coming up. I don't know if he's ever going to get past it. Numb your pain, Taya. You want me to numb my pain? Did you have a good day today? I gator, did. Gator date that you I almost really died did. on and all. Jamie has been nothing but awesome today, even with the sisters Grimm trying to bring her down. But there's something she said to me in the date I definitely need to talk to her about. So tell me today what oh, you meant. God. So I understand when you said, when you're not looking for, where do you want to be when this is done? I mean, no, like, I do like you. And of course, I don't want you to, like, date other girls. But just to, like, get married isn't, like, some thing that like defines you. I just hope Brett appreciates me being honest with him. I'm not trying to tell him what I think he wants to hear, like some people. I'm gonna tell him the truth. You, you're understanding. I, I can't like get this out right. Like say it. Say it like you're thinking it. You know, I'm not the stupid girl that really just wants to find somebody to marry and settle down. If you do pick me, which I hope you do, right. I think that's something we have to decide. At that point, I always have a good time with Jamie. But right now, I'm trying to find a little bit more than just a casual hookup. So for me to keep her around, I got to know she's looking for the real thing. You want to have a great time, you want to date, and you yeah. want to see where it goes, all right? Today was, the date was very difficult, because I'm on one side and she's on the other. 
I'm running out of time and I haven't seen him today. I just am so desperately feeling so misunderstood and want someone to understand me. Because I, I'm so emotionally involved now that I'm hurt. And I am too. I just think we see glimpses of you, but we don't see the whole. Mindy, I've shown you more of who I am than anybody that I've shown in a really There's so long many time. good things about you, but you know what I see in you, Kaya? Mindy, please, please don't stop. take this wrong. Please stop. I please see stop. me in you. Where I you see hurts? insecurities in you that I know Mindy, myself. I don't have insecurities. I have a nine-year-old to raise. I don't have insecurities. Kaya, in my everybody room. has insecurities. I don't have the insecurities that you think I have. The insecurities that I do have, you don't know anything about. Mindy's supposed to be my friend, but she just doesn't know me at all. I'm more ready for love right now than I've ever I been in my whole life. Love too. I'm not saying you're not ready for love. <sighs> Trying to have a conversation with Taya about anything regarding our feelings or our thoughts is useless. I'm not perfect. I have But thoughts. I don't need you pointing out mine. What's going on? Did I just walk into something? I return back to the penthouse, and Mindy and Taya are fighting, and I feel like I'm going crazy. Ugh, crazy. You just seem so pent up. Just because I'm not freaking out every 15 seconds doesn't mean I'm pent up, Mindy. I'm sitting alone in my room, and it dawns on old Breddy that there are three hot girls sent right down the hallway from me. Guitar, let's go party. You don't understand it, because you're not where I'm at. You're right, I I'm 29 it. going on 129. On second thought, maybe I'll just go catch some sleep. Don't take it as a personal attack. I see you screaming right now, and I see me sitting here like a very calm person. Of course, because you're always have... perfect. You're right. I'm perfect, and you're whatever. I'm sorry that I'm not this person with all this pent up shit that you think that I am. I'm not. I'm done with the Mindy beat downs. I'm over them. Let's forget that we were friends. I plan to. I'm just done with her, period. This is between me and her and Jamie. And their tour with me ends here. I know I'm the right girl for Brett. And if one of them stays and I go, it's just gonna be a waste of his time. When I kiss him, when we're holding hands, something just feels like it fits. The gloves are off between Mindy and I. She's definitely probably put the knife in my back a couple of times and it's disappointing, but that's the way people are gonna be. I'm feeling a little nervous but they're both very crazy in different ways, and if I were Brett, I wouldn't want to be with either one of them. Hello, Jamie, Mindy, and Taya. Hi. The most painful thing, without a doubt, is that one of the three of you who I've become very close to is going home tonight, okay? I'm feeling really vulnerable because I'm so emotionally invested in this situation, and I've really put my heart out there to this great guy that could totally just devastate me. All of you have something absolutely beautiful about you that I love. All of you have something about you I still need to get to the bottom of. Jamie, coming into this new, uh, there was a lot of girls obviously right from the get-go that didn't like you being here. Uh, they made that very vocal. The thing I liked about you is you roll with what's happening and you speak the truth. And I like that and that's important. The things about you that concern me over the last few days has become pretty clear to me that you may not be looking for a serious relationship, the one that I thought that you were looking for. I do want a serious relationship just because I'm being honest and saying I don't want to get married next week. That doesn't mean I don't want this. Taya, I think you came here knowing my music. Um, you know a lot about me as a person. That's a great feeling for me. It's great for my ego. However, there's just one piece of my gut that I can't quite get wrapped around if you're here for love if you're here for love and an important business move, and I just haven't been able to wrap my gut around it just yet, okay? I could go home with a broken heart, and I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know how to put those pieces back together again. And Mindy, what I like about you is that there was these true, true feelings that came out between us, but at the same time, there is a side of you that has this funk that you get in, and I can't be on the road like this. You know what I mean? Like, I can't go on the stage, I'm in a great mood, I come off the stage and you're sitting in the back of the bus crying. I wish he'd let go of this funk thing because it really doesn't happen as often as he seems to think it does. Big John, you give me my first pass. Mindy, 
Will you come down here, please? Before I let two girls that are beautiful go, do you feel you're here for absolutely the right reason? You're open enough to want to find love because I think we could potentially have a great relationship, but I need to know that you're here for real. I am here for real, and I think I just needed to hear it. Great. Having said all that, will you continue to stay here on this tour and rock my world? I absolutely will. All right. I just never in a million years expected to be in the final two on this tour. I'm thrilled to get the first pass. Taya must be freaking out right now. I want you to walk back up and stay here with us okay. tonight, okay? While I talk with the other girls, all right? When he hands Mindy that first pass, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm floored. I cannot believe that it's down to me and Jamie. Big John, will you hand me that last pass, please? Please give me this pass. Right now, I'm breaking down. I am breaking down right now. I am having trouble even standing. I just pray that Brett picks me. I can't imagine him sending me home over Taya. Like, that's no. There's a lot going through my head right now. My heart is pounding. This right here right now is the toughest decision I've made. is pounding. This right here right now is the toughest decision I've made. It's me and Taya left. I have to get this pass. It means so much to me. It's so wrong if he picks her over me. Taya just stares at the floor the entire time. She's probably trying to like drum up some sad emotions like thinking about a pet that died and like cry on cue when he calls her down. Jamie, would you come down here please? I, I just, I'm, 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 there's nothing I can say. I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. You are a beautiful girl and, <laughs> and I love your innocence, the fact that you can roll with it. But when I said, you know, I would like, although I have not been married, so I threw it out there. You say, Whew, I don't want to be married and all this stuff. At this point in my life, I am truly looking for a serious relationship, and there is no way that I could let Taya go <laughs> knowing you just want to party and have a great time and are not looking for the serious relationship that maybe I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm not going home. I have another chance to get this guy to fall in love with me. This is my chance at love, and I'm going to grab it. You are beautiful, and I've loved all this time I spent with you, but for you, the toy is here, OK? I can't believe it. Taya has some sort of freakish control over what he thinks of her. I want you to leave here with total respect and know that you've been nothing, nothing but beautiful and awesome and a class act since you've been here. John, will you walk out? Jamie, thank you very much. I came here for love. I found a really great guy I was really starting to fall for, and you know, he dumped me <laughs> on TV. <laughs> that sucks, but I'll get over it. I hope we can be friends. And I hope we can hang out. <laughs> I hope he'll hook me up with some tickets to poison. <laughs> Taya, before I have heart failure, I would like you to come down here, please. <sighs> First of all, you look absolutely beautiful tonight, all right? I know you and Mindy have been the best of friends and the worst of enemies at the same time, but the reason I care about both of you is that you're both here for the right reason. Taya. Will you continue to stay on this tour and rock my world? Mindy, did you come down here? This is it, folks. I am down to my final two, and I have one big decision to make and only one more stop on this tour. Girls, are we ready? We are ready. Are we ready? We're gonna go rock something. It now comes down to Mindy and Taya, and I need to make the decision of who is gonna be my true rock of love. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go, Mindy. Go, Mindy. What do you want me to play? I don't know how to dance, but I'm gonna 
pretend I know how to dance. I'm sorry, the only way I know how to dance is like this. Play no. something I can dance to this one. Like. Do this. Come on, everybody can do this, Jamie. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Do that again. Woo! I don't know what we're doing, but it's fun. <laughs> 